Well, the context here. China has taken part in UN peacekeeping operations since 1990. Since some 30,000 Chinese soldiers have served in 16 UN missions in Africa alone. As the security worsens in war-torn areas around the world, China has offered to send even more peacekeepers abroad. And last month, over a thousand peacekeepers from China returned home. CCTV's Chen Chenchen has more. Family members are overjoyed at the sight of seeing their returning heroes, but the reunion is bittersweet. The Chinese Blue Berets risk their lives to help foreign people caught in conflicts far away from home. My comrades and I know that no matter how dangerous the situation is, our mission comes first. We need to do everything in our ability to safeguard the areas that we are responsible for. Over the years, Chinese peacekeepers primarily assisted with engineering, transport, medical aid, and security patrol missions. China's medical unit in Mali, one of the least developed countries in the world, treated nearly 3,000 patients for malaria, Ebola, and other diseases over the course of one year. As UN peacekeepers, our priority is to rescue and provide medical services to those in need, regardless of their skin color and ethnicity. At the United Nations General Assembly last year, Chinese President Xi Jinping announced China will contribute around 11,000 troops to protect civilians, UN staff, and humanitarian workers in conflict regions, making China the largest troop contributor to the UN. In comparison, Bangladesh and India have each committed around 8,000 troops to serve in UN missions around the world. Chen Chenchen, CCTV.